this Thibaut for another tutorial. So today we're gonna see Yokohama section transition. So let's see what it looks like. So I've got this section coming in and gently going on the left with a 3D effect. As you can see, also this part is separated from the background, which kind of gives off nice effects, I think. And then last one. Let me start again. So first section and then sliding on the left. Okay, so let's see how it's done. Um, <clears throat> so in bricks, I have three section. So as usual, my my dummy start and ending se section and then the part with the transition between the divs. Actually I've put all the five sections within the div which will be my wrapper, my container, my uh, for the uh, pin element in motion page. I gave this um, wrapper a perspective so the slides have this 3D uh, transition rotation. Then each section. So in order to uh, to separate the text from the background uh, and still have the 3D effect, we need to of transform style preserve 3D. Let's see. If I exclude it, you let's see how what's what's the result. You see, it's not separated from the background anymore, because I'm giving. You will see in motion page, but I, I, I'm giving a translate Z of 60 uh, pixel I think and um in order to to take to be taken into account I need to give this transform style preserve 3D that's important and then the container nothing nothing special I mean after it's just a container and some cards um, what else? Uh, I think that's it for the bricks part. I mean, again, I'm giving a perspective of 750 pixels and on each section, a transform style of preserved 3D. So the translate Z uh, property can be uh, um, achieved on the, on the elements. So let's see how it's done in motion page. So I'm on a scroll trigger. Uh, I gave uh, pin element top 0% as usual. And then in order to give some friction, I'm not putting uh, 100, but minus 400%. Uh, so it's a bit slow. The, uh, the, the wrapping element, uh, is longer. So the section transition is smoother, in my opinion. Then each section. So I'm using the end child because each section has the class Yokohama section. And I'm using the end child one, two, and three, and four to, uh, operates motion page. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a translate X of minus 33%. I'm scaling down the slides, the section. I'm doing also a rotation of minus 60 degree and a transfer, a translate Z of 200 pixel. Uh, and transform origin slightly not on the middle but slightly on the left of the of the section 
that's for the slide but for the also I'm animating the container if you remember I told you that uh, uh, about the um, let's see the transform style preserve 3d it's to make this one uh, operating so transform translate z 60 pixel so and I'm doing on on the children on the child because there is only one children one child is the container for each section so hence child one superior uh, stars so that's taking into account all the children but in this case just one because it's just the container and I'm repeating that for each slide so we can even see the result in motion page okay so I think that's it for today thank you for watching